Welcome to this channel. In this video, we are going to discuss one more problem from Fourier series. This is part 4. Now, this problem is taken from GATE 2015 paper. This is about periodic signal x of t. The shape is given here. Now, a signal g of t is defined as it is x of t minus 2 by 2. Now we need to find out average power of g t. Okay. So we need to compute the average power of g t not only x of t. Okay. Now how to find the average power of g t? We will solve this problem. As x t is a periodic signal, obviously it is having one average power. Suppose it is p average. Now, if I consider g 1 t as x of t minus tau, that is, if x is shifted right side or left side little bit, there is a time shift, then what is the average power for g 1 t? Now, as there is a time shift only, shape is not changing. Obviously, the average power will remain same. So, average power of G1T and Gxt will remain same. Right? Now, what about the time scaling? If I consider G2T, G2T is X of AT, time scaling, A could be more than 1 or less than 1. Suppose A equal to 2, then it is compressed, signal is compressed. And if it, A is suppose half, then signal is expanded. So, for expansion or compressed one, what would be the power? Okay. Power is increased, decreased, or it will remain same. Now, I will say that here again, there is no change in average power. What is the logic behind that? Now, you see here, if signal is expressed as time scaling means compression or expansion then what will happen signal shape will remain same only thing is that time period will change if it is compressed then time period is less and if it is expanded time period is more but you see the power is independent of time period it does not depend on time period like if i have sign omega naught t Right? And that signal, if I compressed by two times, then I will have sign of 2 omega naught t. But both signal will have same power. It depends on only amplitude. Right? So, the signal, if signal is having some time shift, or it is if it is having some time scaling, the average power will not change. Now, in this problem, it is given that g of t equals to x of t minus 1 by 2. That means one time shift, one scaling, both are there. But anyway, the g of t should have the same power as x of t because there is no difference for time scaling and time shifting. Right? So, we need to compute the average power of x of t only. So, this is your x of t and I have shown only one time period. And here be careful. So this signal considered properly preferred T naught. So here this is the linear region. Okay, minus 1 to plus 1. And signal here minus 2 to plus 2. So minus 1 to minus 2 is 0, plus 1 to plus 2 is 0. But we need to consider middle of that. Okay, that means we should consider minus 1.5 this side and plus 1.5 this side. Then again to repeat. So exact time period T naught is minus 1.5 to plus 1.5 means 3 seconds. And within this time period, this minus 1 to 1 signal is non-zero and it is decreasing in this way. Right? So slope is minus 3t because 3 by 1, okay, minus 3 by 1 decreasing. So, x sub t is equals to minus 3t in this range. And 
other side other ranges 1 to 1.5 0 and minus 1 to minus 1.5 is also 0. So for power we need to take square of that one. So if I take square then 3 square is becoming 9 and this side was at 9 and the, here you will get t square from parabola. So this is parabola this is also parabola. So within this parabola we need to find the area under this curve. That is your uh, power, that is area, energy, and if you divide by this T naught, then we will get average power, right? So average power is 1 upon T naught, 1 upon 3, and this energy is will integrate from minus 1 to plus 1, and it is minus 3T whole squared. So minus 3T and plus 3T is same, so I have considered only plus 3T, that's whole squared dt, right? So this one again, so you see minus 1 to 0, the shape, and 0 to plus 1, the shape is same, so area will be same. Just we can multiply 2, and we can consider only one side, 0 to 1. So now this 3 square, I will take outside, and t square dt, it into integration is tq upon 3, and lower limit is 0, upper limit is 1, okay, if I put these things, then 2 upon 3, it is 9, and it is 1 third. So if you simplify it, you will get 2. So average power of x of t is 2, thus average power of g, g of t is also 2. So answer is 2. Right? So it is solved. If this video is useful, then please like this video. I will be adding more number of such videos in future. I hope this will help you. Thanks for watching.